A great way to refresh your home this summer is to give new life to old furniture. It can be done just using paint. We're getting crafty with furniture today. Amy Latta is back with us and she brought some examples. She just picked stuff out of her home, brought it with you to the show. We're thankful that you're here with us again. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I wanted to bring the piano and the kitchen cabinets and the dining set, but I couldn't, so. Well, yeah, we're glad you brought with you what you could. And I, I love this idea and I'm, I'm one that has done this. The dresser in my bedroom is, is painted. So I'm happy to share this with our, our viewers. And so, so tell us what would why would somebody want to revamp some furniture like this? Well, lots of reasons. Uh, one is that you might have a piece of furniture that gets damaged. So like our piano, the reason that I finally broke down and painted it, I was scared to do it, but somebody had left a drink on it and it made one of those terrible rings oh. and you can't get it out and then it had a scratch on it. So this is a way that you can kind of restore and repair damaged furniture without having to get something new or give it away. It's also great um, if you find something at the thrift store. Both of these little end table, night tables that mm -hmm. I have here with me today are things that I found at our local Goodwill and they didn't match the decor of my house. So by painting them, I'm able to make them fit in with the rest of my decor. Yeah, because they have some really intricate stylings. I like that. Um, so talk us through the steps if we want to do something. And you know, with Facebook Marketplace and everything nowadays, you can find really nice furniture inexpensively. So what do we do once we have a piece in mind? So the first thing that you want to do is if your furniture has some kind of glossy finish on it, like this one end table did, you want to do a quick sand mm -hmm. because that's going to help the paint to adhere better. It's not going to stay on if it's glossy. So we want to sand the piece just to rough it up a little bit. Then you're going to choose your color or colors. And what I like to use, my absolute favorite is Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. There's other brands of chalk paint on the market as well. Um, but I like to use this um, chalk paint. And what you do is once it's sanded, you're just going to use a nice wide brush like this. And you're going to do even strokes to do a coat. And you'll see I've got this sample piece here that I painted a little bit on last night. One coat didn't give me the kind of coverage that I'd like to have. So mm -hmm. once it dries, I'm going to come back and do another even coat until I get the coverage that I want. Okay. Um, looking at some of your pieces, though, you know, they do have a little bit of like roughing up afterwards or maybe some, some extra... Um, style, extra flair. Talk us through that. Sure. So one option when you're doing this type of furniture is that you can do something called distressing. And that's where you give it the look of being aged, antiqued, and worn. Some people hate this because they're like, why do I want to paint it and then make it look like the paint came off? But some people love the look of that, that farmhouse style. So if you want to do that, one way you can is you can sand test. off a this little bit. This is a statewide required monthly test area. of the emergency so alert corners, system edges, originating like right from the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency. Agency Harvesting. Harrisburg. Um, so this is only a test. Way you can do it. Another way that I actually prefer is to add paint. So instead of taking it away, which can sand away a little bit of the wood itself, sure. what I do is I take this little block, it's a layering block that you can get on Amazon or the craft store, and I take like a black or an espresso color of chalk paint and I just get a little bit on here and then what I do is I go right around those edges, those high traffic areas mm -hmm. like this and it's gonna put a little bit of paint on instead of taking the paint off and it gives the illusion that the paint has come away when really we've added another color. Oh, that's really good, all right, and a great idea. Thank you, Amy, for sharing with us. You have a lot of great ideas and they're all on your website, so why don't we share that with our viewers? Sure, the website is amylattacreations.com and I have um, a post up today with all of these different projects as well as others from my home. And the one other thing that I do wanna mention quickly is that you need to seal this with a home decor wax and and then it's going to be protected. It's going to be easy to clean just by wiping it down, but it does have to be sealed when you're done. There you go. Thank you, Amy, so much. We'll be right back.